This is day two in Mindo, Ecuador. Yesterday we spent the day seeing butterflies going on hikes, getting an adrenaline rush and eating some amazing food. Today it's gonna to be kind of similar, but also very different. We're gonna go on a hike and hopefully see some birds. I think we're gonna go feed some hummingbirds. And of course we're going to eat some delicious food, hopefully. <laughs> There's definitely something that happens when you reach your mid to late 20s. Or 30s in my case. You all of a sudden want to watch birds. Complete for Emily. From what I understand, the Amarillo house or the yellow house in Mindo is like this huge block of land and they just have carved out a bunch of trails on it and the bird watching is meant to be pretty good. It's really close to town, so heaps of people do this as a DIY way, rather than spending like 70 to 90 bucks on a private, oh, it's bird. Rather than spending like 70 to 90 bucks on a private tour. We found the house. If you're looking for it, it's one with two cute dogs out the front. One's a very sleepy one. Best cat dog there ever was. You are, wow. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. He's going to show you where they begin, where the trails sure. begin. Trail number three. Okay. And here you have the scenic view of Mindo. After you do trail number three, then you can do trail two and one. Okay. It's awesome. less exhausting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Gracias. Yeah. Adelante. Un buen día. Ciao. Baby Chiqui. Okay. I'm very excited. This seems like a not very popular option to take but you go to the yellow house you pay six dollars each you get a map they bring you to the trailhead she recommended that we go all the way up to the top and then sort of loop down all the trails she said that's going to be the easiest also might be quite long it might be like a four hour hike <sighs> baby chicks we were debating whether to have breakfast before or after this hike and if it's four hours we may have made the wrong decision We've been hiking for about half an hour and we haven't even reached the first trailhead and we're going to trailhead number three. <laughs> it took us 50 minutes to get to the first trailhead. <laughs> so I guess, I mean, are you still keen? I know we're hungry, but... We're doing a mindset shift. We've decided we're gonna keep going. We're gonna try and get to trail three because that has the viewpoint of Mindo. There's supposed to be more likely to see two cans there. We're just gonna treat it like a workout. So we're probably going to be hiking for another hour and a half or two hours to get to the third trailhead and then we can finally leave the road and actually get into the jungle. We've probably been walking for another 10 minutes and that behind us is the end of that first trail. So the map is not to scale. <laughs> not to scale or we started it in the very wrong place. Yeah. I don't know, but we see trail two right ahead and that means trail three is not far away. Not much of a workout anymore. I just want to see some birds. We keep seeing them, but as soon as you point the camera at them, it's like they they can sense it and they camera shy and they fly away. They hear the click of it turning yeah. on, they scatter. We made it to the start of trail three and the greenhouse, and it only took an extra 20 minutes. Life is all about expectations. As soon as we were like, okay, this is gonna be long, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be a workout. It was nothing and it was so easy. It seems like this place is definitely like an epicenter of where tourists would be coming and going in and out of the hikes because trail three and two meet here and there's also a greenhouse here and a toilet and it's beautiful, but we're completely alone. I don't know if that's because we're too late or too early. <laughs> According to the map, trail three that we're about to go in is the Toucan area and we should get a good view of Mindo as well. I'm so happy we kept going. There was a real point where we were gonna turn around. Now we just got to see some bloody toucans.
Mindo looks like it's so far away. It never computes in my brain. It doesn't feel like we've been walking long enough for it to now be that far away. It's such an awesome look out though. I know we complained about taking a long time to get here, but it doesn't feel like we walked that far. Really good viewpoint though. Butterfly. This would be such a nice place to bring like a little picnic and have something to eat up here before you hike down. I'm pretty sure bird watching is best done first thing in the morning. So maybe that's why we're not seeing that many, but we have seen a hummingbird, a bunch of these tiny little birds and this really cool red bellied bird. It was like literally a arm distance away from me. But again, as soon as we moved to grab the camera, he got scared and flew away. Now it's gonna be a nice hike back down. Hopefully we see some more things and then we're definitely gonna see some hummingbirds at our next stop. No doubt there are countless birds in these trees watching us, but when they make noise like that, we actually get to see them. I have no idea what that was. <laughs> it kind of looked like a peacock crossed with a chicken. That lives in a tree. A turkey, almost. Yeah. And it made this really loud noise. There's so many weird noises. I am really hungry though. We're gonna try and figure out what bird that was while we're at breakfast. <laughs> and then hummingbirds. like a hardcore bird nerd, you're into bird watching, that's your thing. I think maybe the tour might be worth your money, but if you're just starting out on your bird journey like we are, the hike was amazing and we still got to see some incredible birds, like that weird turkey chicken guy. But I still don't know what it is, I wanna look up what that was. <laughs> also, if you're just into a hike, that's a great option as well, you just happen to see some birds. Here comes breakfast. Thank you. Thank you, okay, enjoy. We have come to the Beehive for breakfast because this is one of the most recommended places in Mindo. And it's known for its large portions, which I thought, yeah, we're like maybe talking American sizes, but no, I have two full bread rolls for breakfast. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this. And an amazing blackberry juice. Just had a look, trying to find what bird it was that we actually saw. Went to a list of the 25 most common birds in all of Ecuador and he's not on it. So maybe we discovered a new species. <laughs> Maybe it is a little bit more rare. Now to some not so rare ones. <laughs> Seeing the hummingbirds is an absolute must when you're in Mindo. It's about a five or ten minute walk and we'll get to a hummingbird sanctuary. We made it to the hummingbird sanctuary. The actual lookout where you first get here was pretty busy. But I didn't know that you could go for a walk in the actual sanctuary. It's a 20 to 30 minute walk around and hopefully we can see some birds in here. We'll probably finish up there anyway, so we're definitely seeing hummingbirds. You get one of these plant things that's filled with sugar water and the hummingbirds just come up and drink out of it and it's so magical. They're so tiny, but their wings let off like this fan effect almost when they're here and the buzz from it is crazy. Plus their little tongue is so weird. It's so cool. Quite a popular spot. It's a bit out of town, so I didn't think there was gonna be many people when we got here but it's actually been busy the entire time. But there's still hummingbirds coming, so that's good, I guess. Second day in Mindo. We would live up to the first because the first was amazing. But this is pretty great. 
you only come to Mindo for the day, you have to come here. That was amazing. And you can get like a coffee and a toasty for $1.25. <sighs> that was such a good finish to Mindo. Mm -hmm. I feel like we could end it with the one where I said with the birds were flying. Okay. This can be blippers then. <laughs> Oh, they're so handsome. I like cows. <laughs> Ooh.